Time to head up to Stoke-on-Trent, where scientists are doing work that could eliminate robotics from medical procedures entirely. Regrowing bones may sound like something straight out of Harry Potter, but here at Keele University, Professor Alicia L. Hodge is doing just that, using stem cells, not a magic wand. What we're working on here is how we can grow cells um, from patients and actually use them therapeutically to repair bones. So the aim is really to identify cells that we can use to replace the bones that have been damaged in a patient. So where do you take the stem cells from? The stem cells come from a number of sources and um, one of the ones that's probably most commonly used is the bone marrow um, and we can take stem cells from the bone marrow but also the fat in your body has a lot of stem cells. Also for children um, the uh, umbilical cord has a source of stem cells and also the cord blood itself has a source of stem cells. So we're looking at a number of different places that we can derive. I'm particularly fond of the fat option. <laughs> We're now inside the cell therapy room. It's a completely sterile space where scientists use stem cells to regrow bones. The work being done here looks to recreate the conditions in the body that cause bone and cartilage to develop by injecting a gel substance that controls the release of biological signals called growth factors. The gel also creates a scaffold for the stem cells to grow on, replicating bone development. Sounds good, but there are hurdles. One of the challenges are is how we use these cells to actually stay to, to stay in the site and repair the bone. Um, and because obviously they can move around the body and uh, potentially they could also go on and go somewhere you didn't particularly want those cells to go. And it isn't just about keeping the cells in the right place. Normal bone regrowth relies on strains caused by exercise. Scientists here are replicating that by attaching magnetic nanoparticles to the outer surface of stem cells and then remotely activating them using an exterior magnet housed in normal bandaging. Not only does that make sure the cells stay in the correct place, but it also means patients could, potentially, regrow bones without having to leave their bed. We've been developing technology where we can actually tag the cells with magnetic particles and we can then use those um, magnetic particles to control the way the cells behave. What we do is we can inject them into the patient and then we can use external magnets outside of the patient where we can move the cells around the body, hold them in place and then switch them on and activate them so that we can control their growth process. And then in terms of the cells themselves, the stem cells, do they leave the body on their own? The stem cells will be used to regenerate the new material. So once they're there, they're basically the same as other cells in your body. So they would turn over, all the cells in your body turn over. And what happens when they turn over is they eventually will be shed from the body. So the stem cells eventually will be lost from the body, but they will meanwhile have built new tissue, they'll have done their job effectively, so that we can then have a population that carries on beyond them. What's the patient profile here? Are we talking just about trauma victims? Are we talking about people with bone disease? Essentially, the therapy will be available hopefully to all and in particular, obviously those people that have suffered from some sort of fracture or have some sort of injury, um, a lot of older people suffer from hip problems where they may actually break their bones and, and the aim would be that we can bring this therapy to that population. But as well, there are people who have various degenerative bone diseases such as osteoporosis um, and Ideally, moving into the future, if we could use this type of cell therapy for building their bones and keeping them strong so that they don't break, um, then that would be real, real advance. Are you in talks with any specific companies? There are various um, companies that have been looking into taking this company, existing companies like um, Smith & Nephew and Baxter, for example. But actually the pharmaceutical industry now is beginning to um, show an interest and Pfizer is starting to express interest, a GE Healthcare, in developing stem cell therapies into the, into the future. Let's talk about regenerative medicine. Does this go beyond bones? Absolutely, and I think there are a number of tissues in the body um, that have been targeted for therapies. An example would be cartilage, um, which we carry out therapies here for the knee, um, replacement knee cartilage, also um, various neurodegenerative disease in the brain, stroke, Parkinson's, 
diabetes. There are multiple um, diseases and also tissues which people are targeting for repair. Um, so there's huge, huge challenges and, and huge excitement about how we can bring it forward.